Hey guys, what's going on? Will here, Flawless is out of Creations, coming to you guys with another video. Crazy, crazy week, crazy, crazy past two weeks. It's been insane, but we're going to rock it out again with another Gene Chasers uh, episode. Um, number one, thank you guys, everybody who jumped on last week. Uh, we had an early Black Friday-ish event for flawless exotic creations as we continue to grow uh brand market and advertise uh we know the process is slow because we did it with uh flawless crested geckos and we still are pushing but uh we are absolutely exhausted um we went live friday actually with the black friday sale for flawless crested geckos um to our patreon members we have over 50 members and they attacked it hard so our assumptions that um it was going to be a big holiday season were correct we released 230 crested geckos they snatched up about 90 of them uh over the weekend before it even became available um for the public which was yesterday for the first day but Needless to say, go over there, check us out. If you think, if you guys, ball python guys, want to diversify or get into it or got questions, inbox us. We'll answer everything. Like I said, I think we're the only um, uh, get Crested Gecko breeder doing our Patreon. I know we were the first. I'm not sure if we're the only. Um, but uh, it's been very rewarding and it's been a learning experience. But um, back to Gene Chaser series. So. This episode, I'm going to give you all my energy today, guys. It's raining, it's pouring, um, but we have a, a lot to be very happy about. We're blessed. Um, this series is basically going to be to educate and provide information for the new breeders getting into the hobby, getting into the industry, um, those striving to want to become breeders. Uh, we don't really even label ourselves, you know, breeder, breeders yet because we still have a lot to learn. Um, we have quite the collection, in our opinion, <clears throat> and it will continue to grow over the years. We're planning for the long haul. We've been doing breedings for here now for the next, you know, four, five, six years to come. Um, all our holdbacks that we've created are legitimately our holdbacks. We don't offer them up for sale or anything or make them available. Um, and we're planning strategically for the future as well as picking up new things here and there but if you're looking for a channel um, based around ball pythons a lot of fun a lot of positivity this is probably going to be it for you definitely hit that subscribe button we would love to have you as a consistent viewer here uh, also this specific series is to bridge the gap between the experienced level breeder and the beginner level breeder here feel safe um, this is a safe space where you can comment down below um, any questions you may have any comments you may have um, with you know no let's say uh, kickbacks or negativity uh, coming back at you you can genuinely try to learn here um, we're not super overwhelmed with the business side of it and being so so busy and can't stop to help the new people getting in so please take advantage of that and message us if we don't know the answer we'll try to go out there and you know check our resources and get the answer for you guys but anyway guys if this is the content for you let's roll So here we go. This week's episode is going to be on one of my and Audra. We're actually in agreement on this one. Audra likes really, really bright jeans, but for this jean, Stranger, she loves Stranger as well. Um, so we're in agreement on that project uh, that we're working. Um, it's been, it's really been a, a rocky road uh, getting in. So. You guys can probably go back. I don't want to take this specific video off track, but go back through some of our previous videos and view um, some of we've had some hardships um, in this process of be building or trying to become a breeder. That being said, we evaluated a ton of genes, Stranger being one of them when we entered uh, the industry. Now it's been 18 months. We only been doing this. 
and uh, we liked it a lot. Uh, it wasn't readily available and we just started trying to source it and get more research and I dove down that rabbit hole getting all the details. So that being said, um, Stranger is an incomplete dominant gene first discovered by Roland over at Iris uh, in 2012. Um, which goes back to that video I was telling you guys about uh, we have a couple of unboxings because we're importer exporters as well and we've imported twice from Roland um, both have been extremely pleasant uh, in dealing with with Roland um, we purchased uh, stranger double hat puzzle clown male um, and he was absolutely beautiful uh, he had some size on him we took our time with him we have tons of space we got empty racks and everything so we're not you know pressed for uh, space we got hatching racks we got a lot of empty space so um, he did very well uh, he locked he bred first year um, he 900 grams I believe he got up to he was doing really really well and guys you know the short uh, summary of that video came down checking on everything you know and he was belly up in his tub so talk about a challenge you know at that time i believe we were 13 grand into that mail um with nothing produced from him no holdbacks anything um so yeah that was a heartbreaker and then we turned around went back to iris um and got a clutch mate that initially we didn't want but we needed for our plans um we got the pastel stranger double head puzzle clown male um, he came in he was a little smaller he's just starting to breed this year um, but now he's well over a thousand grams um, I believe he's pushing 1200 grams now um, and he's been phenomenal we went to the vet with the last uh, stranger we had it's turned into a long video but we went to the vet with that entire experience uh, with the stranger we had we have a really good vet because we're Crested Gecko breeders, and we don't have too many vet issues, but we have three different vets that we can pretty much call. Um, and pretty much the answer we got from him, which is what other people in the hobby said, sometimes things happen. Um, so it kind of sucks that it's like that, but that goes to show you, it doesn't matter if it's a $50 ball python or a $20,000 ball python. They all serve uh, the same care. Um, uh, the same assistance if, if something's going wrong take them to the vet to get it checked out but we had no signs of anything and that's just sometimes how the cookie crumbles anyway moving forward to now uh, dealt with Roland twice imported from him twice it was phenomenal to deal with phenomenal to work with come to find out in the research something that I didn't know that stranger is a part of what they're calling the mahogany complex I didn't know mahogany had a complex uh, so we're learning something together here now um, my theory means all the stuff I want to tell you is facts but my theory in my research uh, I've looked at mahogany I do see um, similarities between mahogany and stranger but they are definitely distinctive distinct lift distinctively different <laughs> I told you guys I'm tired um, and also cinder now I'm on the fence about that because those are the only three genes considered to be in the mahogany complex but everything I've watched and everything I've seen cinder is mahogany it's the same thing I don't see any differences like I see differences between cinder mahogany versus stranger but needless to say um, this industry, this hobby is forever evolving and maybe we'll find out further details down the road. Um, so yes, uh, it's a part of the mahogany complex. Now, the head on a stranger is extremely dark. Uh, oftentimes it's going to be uh, ranging from a chocolatey brown to a very deep black, rich black. Uh, which goes over to the body. The body is very, very unique when it comes to stranger. stranger in single gene form you know we've had problems with id and so which is why we decided to do this series and strange is one of them things single gene you can id right away but i got a monkey wrench for you guys just a little bit in this video uh the body is going to be covered with you know burnt orange chocolate uh alien heads with intense blushing uh along the body um i don't know how to say it but just 
Stranger in a single gene form has its own very unique look. It has a consistent pattern. Um, no matter whose um, single gene stranger you look at, you can tell that they're stranger. So let's check out a couple. So guys, here we go. This is an in-house production, okay? This is a, as close to a single gene stranger as we have. So check her out and she's getting some size to her already. Now there goes that consistent pattern that I was just preaching about. Look at the alien heads. Look at the blushing, but look at the consistent pattern. It tends to stripe it out a little bit. This girl here is actually Stranger Het Clown Pos Hat Puzzle. So keeping her anyway, because she's Stranger Het Clown and she's gonna be powerful in the things we'll do in another two years. But can't wait for that puzzle test to come out and check her out. Now, I'm going to put her to the side for just a second. I want to show you guys something very, very interesting. Now, at first glance, I thought I hatched out another stranger. But it seems like it is not. We have some consistencies, but nothing like the stranger before. Stop hissing, girl. This is another girl. All right. So whatever's going on, even if it's a normal, she's head clown. Um, pos hat puzzle she's not for sale not because you know I'm gonna hold her because she's head clown but I think it's something going on here I did talk with Darren and he spoke with Amos uh, who works deep 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 in stranger and there's a gene tied to stranger that resembles stranger but is not stranger so maybe this is that Check out both sides. Very consistent pattern coming from just that breeding. Doesn't have the full stripe, but still. Put her to the side so I can show you them side by side. Check that out, guys. Yes, it is different. I can see it's definitely different. But man, still got the blushing. Not as heavy as the stranger, but something's going on there. So we're going to figure it out. All right, let's see another combo. So, you've seen single gene stranger. Now we're gonna look at the male. Check out this male. So his this here is pastel stranger. Still carries that same pattern, but blows the pattern up, brightens everything up with pastel. Pastel actually looks really really good in stranger, even though you guys know I'm really anti pastel but we needed this mail for what we want to do in the future. So check that out. Pastel Stranger, double head, puzzle, clown. Big boy. So while we're on the pastel kick, check out this girl a little bit more to her now so now we're on pastel blackhead stranger fire pos triple head monsoon clown pie check out those dark borders around the alien heads Blackhead really did this girl some justice. Can't wait to create some really cool combos with her. Absolutely insane. And I would love to test her. So I'm going to test her because she's still small. We got quite some time. I love the testing process because then I can be really, really strategic with how we're going to, what direction we'll take the breedings in. Looking at some of the back striping from and those donuts from the conversation with Austin. And maybe she'll prove out at Monsoon. We shall see. Now let's check out the non-pastel. So this is fire. 
just fire no no pastel fire stranger this is another male that's also pos triple hat monsoon clown pot that is a really really good eater and it's feeding day so I hope he doesn't tag me check that out again with those heavy dark borders around the alien heads almost no eyes in the alien heads floating alien heads all kinds of crazy pattern going on and he's already pushing almost 600 grams And last but not least, one of my favorite combos. This is going to be Leopard Stranger, Pos Triple Hat, Monsoon Clown Pot. Again, we're going to get all these guys tested. Just not in a big rush. This is a girl. The last one before this one was a boy. She's getting some decent size on her now. Leopard did this girl some justice, got it even darker, but you can still see the bordering around the alien heads, even with the overall darker palette to work with because of Stranger and Leopard combo. And who knows, maybe there's some type of head influence on pattern, on color. Blushing is still there, raising up from the belly. Purposely, we've been trying to keep the yellow belly complex out of all of our strangers, especially on the male side at least, until we up our collection of strangers and experiment a little bit more. Just trying not to hatch out those all white snakes. Boom! Okay guys, so uh, actually throughout this process I learned um, quite a bit of uh, stuff that I didn't know, like I said with the mahogany complex didn't know that um, this has been really really fun like I said giving you guys all my energy we have a lot of stuff going on as far as flawless crested geckos and flawless exotic creations yesterday was the last ship day for right now uh, until redline uh, clears us definitely go check out redline uh, five dollars off if you enter flawless five love those guys for being a sponsor of the channel uh, really really appreciate Robin he's a really really good friend we meet up with him every single ten league um but check us out on morph market we will be updating it soon hang in there with us uh, i think we sold roughly 13 or 14 uh snakes in an hour and a half in that uh black friday ish event uh people were commenting and and uh actually messaging us later afterwards because the way we did it was we did it this year for the first year since we have a smaller reach we're going to keep it you know increasing that reach share these videos guys we really appreciate you and hit that subscribe button you're helping us grow but uh we did it on instagram where you do an instagram live and we showed off everything we had a double camera uh, we we're Audra and i we were multitasking had all the snakes weighed out we had 90 something snakes in inventory we've sold some since then but uh the black friday ish event was only during that live and we moved i believe it was 14 uh, 13 or 14 hopefully i'm not mistaken uh snakes that went during that live so that was phenomenal considering the first year that we did flawless crested geckos and we had release we would put up like 40 geckos for sale and it'd be crickets um so we're learning from the mistakes we made from building flawless crested geckos over the last eight years and impl implementing those um techniques and strategies into flawless exotic creations so definitely appreciate you guys if you guys snagged up some snakes comment down below um we did ship out 10 of them yesterday 
so some people have to wait on theirs because of weather and prior arrangements but anyway next week we're gonna shoot to update morph market so if you're looking for something specific in boxes let us know um and hopefully you like this series and next episode we should have audra on with us she's running around doing the flawless crested gecko stuff right now um but we love you guys as will flawless is out of creations we out <laughs>